the rarest commodity in this universe besides love is intelligence much rarer than energy. And for the first time, we can manufacture an intelligence. And that's when I thought AI would be the future. So I started by AI. You do have a rich history, both academia and like work experience. You yeah. took a company public yeah. in oil and gas industry before yeah. you turned 30. And then you started being in tech. Where's that coming from? Felt like the two major drivers of the world was finance and oil. So that's why I went into finance initially. And you actually raised at series C round 42 million. So how is that possible? <laughs> like, the whole idea of like go for a big TAM is something that I don't really believe. Go for a very small TAM and win and then make the market grow. We think that the future of labor has to be changed from time-based to output-based. And that's going to be a massive, massive change. You actually assembled an amazing team together. That begs the next question of mine that how did you find all of these talents? There was a big talent asymmetry. No company in that industry could hire the engineers we had. And there's a big difference between a good engineer and a medium engineer. Instead of just creating a technology and try to selling that technology to everyone else you start creating your own company you know rather than just selling your AI agent to these big companies exactly. and I think we are going to see that a lot like how should enterprises consume AI and I think that's the hundred trillion dollar question let me go to three big changes that are very important one the question they keep asking is where do I put AI in my workflow that's not the right question it's where do I need to put humans <laughs> in an AI workflow. 